So when I started out recording sounds, I did not have a contact microphone. And I would like to make this video today here in Hong Kong about this very useful device. Not only is this very useful for me, also for sound design. Right now we have a lot of ambience here, Gesundheit, you know, and you don't want to have these sounds, then you use a contact microphone. So I use the AKG C411 PP contact microphone and all what I need is a little bit of blue tag, my recorder and headphones. You see it's not much. So let's just go and explore and see what sounds we can find here in Hong Kong to utilize and use that microphone. So this is an amazing sound and I realized that if you go here in Hong Kong to the MTR or subway station, you have the clicking of the escalators. I don't hear that sound somewhere else, like in Singapore, I haven't heard it, somewhere in Tokyo no, or in Europe. So this is a very unique sound. And if I want to capture that without the ambience, that's when I use a contact microphone. So let's just do this. You see, I already put the blue tag on and now, great like the vibration the clicking everything and if you have a little bit of ambience in the background you know it still picks up you know footsteps and or talking but if you have like a, a cleaning tool noise reduction program it's so easy to make the sound sound perfect and now you listen to it right out of the microphone Now I'll give you a little example. You listen right now to the sound out of the Uji Pro. And here's the contact. See, this is already cool. And now you hear the difference between going from ambient to the contact sound. Isn't it so cool, the difference? That's why it's so important to have. And it's also, you know, if you record uh, ambience, you can always just use a contact microphone to, to give them a little bit more power and you have just more options later in post-production or sound design. Okay, now let's see what else we can find. You know, I was going to make this video only about the contact microphones, but if you come to a place like this here, right? You know, you have the air condition, you have the dripping from the air condition here on the floor. It's dirty and, and rusty and raw and so cool. So that's why I always have to have my big microphone to capture this ambience. But also with the Zoom H3 VR, because I got more requests to record more ambisonic sounds. Yeah, while looking for sounds that I can record with the contact microphone, we came across here, Diamond Hill. It's amazing. You, you, you look at these huge buildings. Now you have the construction in the background. Wow. And if you listen to the construction in the background, you know, like the hammering. It is a huge echo and a huge reverb created by these buildings. You know, like the sound comes, hits the building and then it hit, comes back and it creates this beautiful reverb. 
now you listen to the audio out of the out of the Viltronics. Now we're at the Choi Hong estate here right on the car park with all this amazing building around. As you can see, people playing tennis, basketball, you can hear the Walla. And this is actually a pretty famous picture here what people are doing. So if you go on Instagram and you're looking for Hong Kong, then you might see this building. But we are not here taking photos, maybe a few, but the main reason is here to get the ambience. And that's what we're doing. Now we record the ambience here. Wow. Okay, so we just got out of the bus and it's a great way of recording sounds with a contact microphone. So when the bus driver accelerates, you get all the vibration of these small mini buses. And uh, what is another great sound we're going to record is the very typical sound of the traffic lights. So every time, if you have been to Hong Kong, you, you know it. It's like this constantly beep, 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 beep. So we're trying to get that sound as clean as possible. Ah, I love this sound. And you can hear this, if you come to Hong Kong, you see this and you hear it all over the place. And now I record this just on the Uji Pro right now. Let me click the record button really quick. So now we're recording on the Uji Pro, right? With all the ambience. And now, contact microphone. And then you see the difference. You hear the difference. Okay, so now you know what I use a uh, contact microphone for and I think every field recorder should have one of these contact microphones in the bag because it is great and I love it. We got some amazing sounds today here again in Hong Kong. We could explore some fantastic spots and we really hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in our next one very, very soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs> bye bye. Oh wait, wait. Day in the life of a world traveling field recorder. Ah, you know, it's amazing. You, you, you look at these huge buildings. Now you have the construction in the background. Wow, it's amazing. It's absolutely incredible here. So, you know, you walk around and you look and you listen and it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's incredible. <laughs> Very airy sound. Really nice. Oh. You look good. Yay! <laughs> Let me just get a shot of you walking around here.